there's a point in that movie where the first time in his life he will meet failure. Okay. So we're talking about a, by by a protagonist who consistently does things to for the kicks, and he lets go of his of his kicks very quickly because the moment it's not exciting anymore, he changes to okay. the next best thing. And for the first time in his life, he's facing failure. What was be your natural response to such a person who said success all his life, bored of it, and suddenly he meets failure? What do you think he would have done? We would expect him to break down, depress, and right? Yeah, yeah. But the entire movie gave a total three sixty uh, reference to it. This guy was kicking and dancing and celebrating his failure. He said, "This feels great." I know. <laughs> so no, but, but but what is the reasoning behind it? Because it felt great to lose for the first time. Oh, it's 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 unfamiliar territory, and unfamiliar territory means you learn more and you grow more. Is That's is right. that what you're trying to say? Uh, so when I saw that. Suddenly taught me that I can celebrate failures as well. Look, you can try a business. I mean, a lot of people want to be businessmen. I'm telling you, everybody I talk to, every uncle in the coffee shop, I mean, for international audience, that's our normal Starbucks in here, you know, kind of stuff. Uh, you know, all the elderly people or even friends, even same age, lower. Everybody talks about once doing a business, but that's where it stops. Yeah. Uh, everything else settles in. Because the moment they meet failure, they give up. But the point here is, if you do not celebrate your failures, if you really don't, I mean, if you really want something, go get it. Because how long is your life? See, what the biggest fear that I have is, in my last breath, 